So you're thinking about moving to Austin, Texas or living in Austin, Texas and wondering what's happening with the Austin housing market. Well, the Austin housing market is definitely something you'll want to understand before considering a move. So each month I'm going to offer you a 50,000 foot video glimpse into the housing market in a quick 10 minutes or so because every zip code, neighborhood, street, you name it, prices and values will differ. And the goal of this video each month is to share the trend in Austin house prices. And ultimately I'll be creating videos about what your money will buy you in various areas moving ahead. So while I sucked at math beyond high school algebra, what I do know as a realtor is that numbers are exceptionally important when you're thinking about moving. My name is Jennifer Goodman, a realtor living in Austin, Texas. And if this is your first time to our channel and you want to know everything about living, working, playing, loving, and thriving in Austin, Texas, and you'd like to be connected to some incredible local experts and resources, then please subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about current market living in Austin, Texas. So whether you're moving in seven days, seven weeks, or seven months, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. I'd love to help you out. So let's get started. Austin's October MLS statistics show a strong market with almost 3,000 homes sold. And that is right in line with where we were in October 2019, which may indicate a little bit of what we'll call normalcy. Don't like to throw that word around, but for now we're gonna use it. Our average sold price in the five county area was $466.9,000, which is up by almost 21%. And our average sold price in Austin proper was $614.9,000, which is up 12.1%. So it may be less than you earned with Bitcoin this past year, but you can sleep well knowing that the leverage that comes with owning a house and offers you wealth building in other ways is still alive and strong and your future self will thank you the austin home sales appreciation numbers have begun to slow and this is actually a good thing if you want to move to austin texas and buy a home in austin texas appreciation numbers will be higher than the historical average, but lower than the 30 to 40% increases that we saw at the height of the pandemic last spring. So some type of normalcy is returning to uh, pricing and the ability to purchase houses in the real estate market. Highlights uh, include the fact that total sales are actually down 18.4% in the metro and 21.8% in the city overall in October 2020. However, the city of Austin saw an average appreciation of 12.1%, as I mentioned. So this is really good news. The, again, the five county area saw a median cost per square foot um, up by 36.4%, so it's at about 200, almost $243 a square foot, and the Austin area median dollars per square foot is up 31.3% uh, to $324, a little bit over that. And ultimately, does this matter if you're buying high-end homes? Absolutely not. However, people like to know, and I'm happy to share, as it does give us a, a starting place and something to consider as you're moving uh, from one market to another. The median days on market is eight in the month of October, which means both the five county area and Austin area have homes basically that sit on the market for eight days. Not a long time, but better than it's been in the past. 
So other appreciation numbers uh, in the metro area, if we break them down, we're really any, up anywhere from 20 to 30%. And I'm happy to share specifics with you if you are at all interested. So what does this all mean? Now that we're, nope. now that we're comparing year over year numbers with the fall of 2020, barring any unforeseen actions from the Fed, which continues to buy treasuries and mortgage bonds, thus helping keep mortgage rates low, uh, markets are now prepared for the Fed to begin reducing bond purchases in November, which is now, and to continue reducing them in 2022. So we will put a microscope on upcoming sold house price numbers and appreciation in spring of 2022, because that's going to be a real telltale sign. So all things being equal, the spring will be an indicator for Austin's new housing sales and price norms. If you're a buyer, the fall and winter markets almost always provide buying opportunities. Repeat, buyers. If you're considering moving to Austin, Texas, buying an investment property or a first time home or a move up home or a move down home, then we anticipate buying opportunities. Why? Because there are generally less buyers or less competition to purchase the houses that are for sale. So if you have the time and the motivation to search for your new home through the remainder of this year, we may be able to negotiate a more attractive purchase price than you will find in the spring. The spring will offer more houses to buy and more buyers to buy them. Competition will increase. So if you're a seller, I like to think that homes sell 363 days a year with a little break for Christmas and New Year's. Uh, and the fall winter pricing does remain strong. So sellers may see multiple offers for well-priced houses still. However, they are not guaranteed. If your realtor guarantees you multiple offers run, they are not, at least last time I checked, in possession of a crystal ball. None of us are. However, we want to price your home for the market. So, those that were receiving multiple offers last year, uh, just know that this was the exception to the rule, kind of like having a snow day or five in Austin, if you know what I mean. So that said, prices remain strong and chances are you're sitting on some real equity if you've owned your home for the last three to five years. FYI, note sellers, if your home is currently for sale and you decide to remove your property from the multiple listing services for 90 days, that will be considered a new listing in the spring of 2022. Anything less than 90 days though, and it is not a new listing. Not my rule, not any realtor's rule, it is just the rule that we all live by according to the Austin Board of Realtors. So, new listings have a different cachet than those that have been on market for months. If your house isn't selling currently and you believe it is priced well for the market, then you need to consider if it's not the price, it's the condition. And if it's not the price or condition, it is both. So demand remains steady. Something's going on. Always bear in mind though, that real estate is hyper-local and hyper-situational. So please reach out to me if you have any questions about your specific market or situation. I'm Jennifer S. Goodman, living in Austin, Texas. And if you've enjoyed this video, I want you to know more about living in Austin, Texas. And just please subscribe to this channel to ensure you get the most recent updates about local Austin real estate market and introductions to some exceptional people that I will be bringing on, then we will share 
people and places and all the great things that make working, playing, loving, and living in Austin, Texas that much sweeter for when you move to Austin, Texas. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text or an email, write a comment uh, down below, and I would love to help you out. In the meantime, I'm Jennifer S. Goodman, living in Austin, Texas. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you next time.